Welcome to Polydays on the Wheel with Jay, and this is Elite TV. The president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as we all know, has been indicted by the Chicago State University to have committed forgery, identity theft, and as well as perjury. As you know, yesterday there was a uh, deposition uh, at the court of which the registrar of the school and other schools uh, staff testified before the oath that the certificate that Bola Ahmed Tinibu presented before the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, cannot be, you know, authenticated by them because they don't know where that certificate originated for. Please, if you're not joining us, please do it to hit the subscription button as well as share this video to reach a larger audience. Thank you. So now, there are more reactions, you know, coming up as, you know, as a result of uh, this uh, disposition yesterday at the court where it has been confirmed that uh, Bola Tinibu, you know, um, forged his certificate because uh, it was not being able to be you know, uh, confirmed by the Chicago State University Registrar that Bola Abed Tinubu certificate, you know, the one he submitted was certified by them and was, you know, replaced as he claimed. Now, this is one thing that uh, most people don't really understand. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria states that for you to be qualified to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you are supposed to be a citizen by birth and you are also supposed to be um, in your qualification that uh, um, you are supposed to have a first school living certificate or its equivalent. But then, it becomes something that uh, is, is so disturbing to see that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who was, um, I mean, Bola Metinibu, who was declared as the presidential, uh, as the president of Nigeria in um, February 25th, uh, 2023 general election, you know, having known that he had these discrepancies, he was not supposed to even present that certificate any longer. What happened to his uh, first school living certificate? What happened to his um, uh, secondary school certificate? Fine. The, the constitution stated that it's equivalent. So it means that um, you can actually become the president of Nigeria even if you don't even have that first school living certificate, you know, to... Uh, present before the Independent National Electoral Commission. And uh, we saw what happened in 2015 and even we saw what happened in 2019 with President uh, Mohamed Buhari, where there was a lot of allegation to his certificate where the the, the opposition have it that uh, he was even using NEPA, you know. <laughs> Uh, using the past certificate, I don't know if there's anything like the past certificate, you know, to contest for the seat of the president. We had this issue four years ago, and for it to come up again, maybe the APC folks were like, uh, if we can skate through with Buhari, then we can actually skate through with uh, Tinibu, not knowing that Tinibu's case is quite different from that of Buhari. Uh, Buhari said, claimed that uh, his house was bombed and during the military uh, intervention uh, uh, in, in, in 1983 and the rest, and that he lost those uh, credentials. And, okay, have you applied for that? Now, talking about uh, mates that he schooled with, people gathered that they were mates of uh, uh, Muhammadu Buhari. And don't forget that he even went to be a military general in Nigeria here. So, you know, some results were released. And that quenched the whole matter. But coming to this one, you can't even provide your first school living certificate. You claim to graduate from uh, uh, government college in Lagos. The school uh, was... Uh, uh, the school came into existence in 1974, and they say you graduated from there in 1970. The age, you know, in the passport was showing um, 1952, and the school is showing 1954. So there is a lot of discrepancy. All this uh, drama here and there is uh, what Nigerians are now passing through as a result of the shame that has been brought to us by the number one person of of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So what happened next? You know, the whole world is looking at Nigeria now. We 
with a different eye and see Nigeria as a country that forges certificates, stamps, and all of that. What do you think about this? Let's have your thoughts at the comment section. But however, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar, the Waziri of Adamawa State, and the presidential candidate of PDP, who actually moved this case, uh, pursuing, who is pursuing this case to this end at the uh, Chicago State University as well as the court in the United States, will be having a press conference today at um, uh, 3, 3, 3, 3 p.m., and we will be bringing all the details from what he will be saying as a regard to this whole case as he did you know confirmed yesterday what next for pdp and the opposition at the supreme court will they do the needful by removing the president because it has been confirmed that he is a certificate that is it from me please stay tuned and share this video share this video please Thank you so much for staying this long to watch this video and I really appreciate this, um, you know, commitment to always come back to watch our videos and sharing of our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But stay tuned. We're bringing more details from Atuku Abubakar and other reactions from Nigerians and what is going on. As you can see, these are the disposition of the Chicago State University. Take a look.